So we have our welcome screen here now directing us to this chat component with the name. So this is the component which will actually show the chat window and the messages inside it. So let's start to create the template for this component. So we'll go over to our chat.view component over here and we'll create the template inside the container. Now I want to get rid of what's currently inside this H2 right here because we don't just want to output the name up there. That makes no sense. Instead, we'll call this Ninja Chat. And what I'll do is give this a class as well. And the class is going to be equal to center to centrally align this H2 text and also teal hyphen text to make it that blue green color. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is a div with a class of card, like so. And then inside this, we need some card content. So again, another div with a class of card hyphen content. Then inside this div, what I'd like to do is output the messages. Now, since there's going to be a series of different messages, it makes sense to create a UL and loads of different LI tags inside of it, one for each message. So we'll do that. We'll create a UL. And this is going to have a class of messages and inside that we'll do an li tag and by the way this class right here this is nothing to do with materialize this is our own class we might use to style these things up later on so each message will be an li tag and eventually we'll use v4 to output a different li tag for each different message but since we don't have those messages yet we'll just create some dummy html for each different message so inside this li tag, we're going to have three things. We're going to have the name of the person that sends the message. We're also going to have the message content. And then finally, we'll have the time, the time that the message was created. So for each one of these different things, I'm going to do a span tag. So first of all, we'll do a span for the name. And this is going to have a class of teal hyphen text. And we'll just place name there to begin with since we have no dynamic data yet. And the second one will be a span with a class of gray hyphen text. And we'll say text hyphen darken hyphen three. So that's going to take that gray text color and darken it by three steps. OK, and inside this will be the actual message content. Again, we don't have dynamic data, so we'll just place message there for now. And finally, a span with a class of gray hyphen text again and also it's going to have a class of time because we'll style this up slightly differently later on and we'll use that class to do that. And in here, we'll just say time, but we will output the timestamp there formatted in some way, shape or form later as well. OK, so that's the kind of HTML I want output for each different message we have. And later on, like I said, we will use V-4 on this LI tag to cycle through each message and output this stuff for each different message we have in the database. All right, then. So now Underneath the card content over here, I'd like to do another div with a class of card hyphen action. Again, this is a utility class provided by Materialize. And this is just going to separate a little bottom part of the whole card for us. And this is where our form will be for a user to add a new message. Now, for now, I'm just going to do an input box with a type of text and leave it at that. And we'll come back to this shortly. All right, so that's the basic template done over there. The next thing I'd like to do, well, first of all, we'll preview it in a browser. So this is what it looks like at the minute. And this looks OK, but we still need to style this up a little bit. To begin with, these three things are sitting next to each other and they shouldn't really do that. They should probably sit on top of each other or at least the time should be down there. So we'll sort that out uh, and a couple of other things as well. So let's go down to the style tags and inside here, first of all, we'll say chat, which is the div at the top. We gave that a class of chat. And then we want the H2 inside of that. And the font size of this H2 will be 2.6 M's. OK, and the margin bottom, just to separate it from the chat window itself, will be about 40 pixels. All right, then. So we also want to grab each of the span tags inside those LIs. So these things right here. And since they're the only span tags in the chat over here, we can just say chat span. And for each of these, I'd like to give a font hyphen size of 1.4 M's. All right. And then finally, one more rule. We'll say chat dot time. So that's that third span tag where we output the time itself. We want to display this as block because we want it to go onto the next line. And block level elements do that. 
So display it as block and the font size will also be about 1.2 M's. So let's save this and view this in a browser. Okay, I think that looks a bit better now. We have the Ninja Chat separated from the window and also now the time is gonna be displayed below these two things right here where the name and the message is. Plus, it's also a little smaller, which I think works well as well. Cool, so that is our chat window created right there. Now, we also have this input field right here and we did that right here. Ultimately, in the next lesson, what we'll do is separate this section, this little form into its own component just to keep everything modular. Because this component right here, this will be all about receiving data from Firebase. Whereas this component right here, the new message component, that will be all about taking data from a user and pushing it up to Firebase. So they have two different roles really, which is why it's nice to keep them a little separated from each other to avoid any kind of data confusion. So we'll look at that in the next video.